Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, our previous widget that we made in the last video and I'm going to change the theme on it. So I'm going to go to my mindfulness themes. If you want to have a look at all my themes, um, go to my on my iPad setup video. I'll link that in the description. So this is my mindfulness theme. Um, when the wallpaper loads, there we go. You can see it's quite a pleasing theme. Uh, it's quite calm. I'm just going to add the widget widget in. So it's ready for when we need to load it at the end of the video. Uh, you'll be able to see distinctively how different it is because it's a different theme. So there you go, quite obviously different. So let's go to Widgey and we will find our widget. I'm going to click on my large widget and I'm going to edit as a copy. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the background to start with. So what I want to do first is I'm going to replace the shape with an image by pressing the three dots, clicking replace. Then we'll go to image and I've created an album of all my mindfulness backgrounds. So I'm going to go to system and I'm going to go to image library, random photo from album. Then I'm going to go down, look for my album created on photos this is on ios photos select the one i want and you can see my mindfulness like nice pastel themed backgrounds so that's going to be my theme and now i'm going to replace the text i'm going to start with the color and if you remember in the last video i told you that we can edit the color um so what i'm going to do i'm going to make this one white and whilst I'm in it, I can actually right click on any of the other colors and edit these as well. So I think I'm going to make this one black. And the shadows don't look very good. So I'm going to have a little play with that. So all the shadows are on this black. So now if you look closely, I want to make this change now. All of the shadows will change. And I think that's such a cool feature if you, if you do use this. Um, I'm not too sure I actually want a shadow, so I'm going to just either make it, you know, I'm going to get rid of the opacity completely. And now I'm going to change the fonts because they're too cartoony for this theme. So go back to one of the texts and select edit on the actual font. Find a nice fancy font, probably a bit too fancy. There is one called Luna that I really like. I've used it on other widgets in the past. So I'm going to use that for this one. And let's um, make the other text a slightly different font. Just to have a little bit of range in the widget. This one looks quite nice. There you go. I like that one. So because the fonts change the size a little bit, I'm going to just move that around, have a little play again. All of this is about just using your own judgment on art and just making it what you feel looks good. I mean, there's nothing right or wrong about this. It's just having a play and the best part of it is it can suit you. So. Now let's have a quick look at the image or the album art. It doesn't entirely go. This is my album art and I'll happily say it doesn't go with the background and the theme. So let's put the opacity down slightly. You can have a blend mode on. I have played around with these. They do work in certain scenarios. You could do an overlay over the top and blend that into it. Maybe grayscale it or something. Um, but I'll, what I'll just do is just make it a bit uh, lighter, blur it up a little bit there, and hopefully that looks good. Now I'm just going to change the button colours because they don't go at all. So let's have a look. We'll go into our colour palette. And oh, looks like I forgot to add the buttons, the play buttons, symbols to 
their own palette so i'll just do that now quickly i think i'm going to use the color picker a really good tool when trying to get a good theme and let's get a color from this background nice little light purple add it by pressing the little plus button and press the tick and then i'll go in now and change the other symbols and now i'm just going to change the button colors to white uh, i think that'll look quite nice and i think it might be nice to thin out these symbols a little bit so i'll go and get a new symbol for each one i think i'll use the outline symbols here So yeah, I really like that. I think that could look quite decent. So I will go back to my home screen, go down to manage to add this widget to the slot that I chose. Select my widget and that because we put it on earlier, that should already be on my home screen. Right, well that doesn't look great. So I think I'll go back into the editor and just have a little play. So yeah, there you go. So I had a little move around, play around, and I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, the refresh app button still works and it actually changes and flips through my album. So it gives, brings up different backgrounds that I've got for my mindfulness theme. So yeah. Pretty pleased. Just show that the uh, series shortcuts still work and press the refresh button now and you'll see the pause come up. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you with your themes. Um, so yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, ring my bell, stroke my ego, all that wonderful stuff and I'll see you next time.